In this exercise, we're going to create our first HTML page. It's going to include very basic HTML syntax that's required for every page. To work with brackets, you'll have to create your folder structure through your own operating system. I've set up a bunch of the labs that we're going to do in here as almost empty files. Some of these have a few things in them. Mostly I've just put in a blank index page, which you'll notice is the same on each of these folders. Because I haven't put any content in it yet, you'll see this is the default information that I put for everything. So you're going to want to create a Web 105 folder. I add a year to mine so I know which projects I'm teaching. And I do this because it changes a little bit every year because HTML is still changing. The web is changing. Technology moves at a very fast pace, so my class is a little bit different each year. This is a basic structure of a web page. The doc type tells the browser what version of HTML that you're using, and then mostly you're going to have paired tags. You'll have an HTML tag which starts and stops the HTML. You can modify that tag where it has language equals English. And then in there we have a head section. The head has information about the page. So we tell it what character set we're using, UTF-8. That's just the American character set as opposed to um, using things other than the standard alphabet that we're used to. And the title should describe the page. Web 105 initial page. And then in the body section, we'll put in content that will actually be visible on a web page. So we're going to start with an H1 heading tag. And we will just put in text here that will appear on the page. H1 tag, most important heading. And we can test this by clicking on the little lightning bolt here. It will open up the Chrome browser. And you can see that the title appears here and the H1 tag appears here. In this sample, I'm just going to show you how to create very basic HTML elements. The most common one are your text elements. So we'll have H2, heading 2. You can go from heading 1 to heading 6. I won't go that far, and you'll see that each one is, has different default styling. We'll also include paragraph text, which is in between the paragraph tags. And one of the most important things that HTML can do for you is let you link. So we're going to include a hyperlink. And this has our hypertext reference and the web address that we're going to link to. And I thought I had that set up to copy and paste. We're going to go to, and you'll notice this is changing as I work. When you're working in brackets, if you have the preview open, as you type in text here, it will ap appear over here. So I want to use the MCC website, so I'm going to right click and choose copy, and that will give me the correct address, which I need to put in quotes. So this is your uniform resource locator, your web address, your hypertext reference. And then we'll close the anchor tag and between the two tags, so we have our anchor hypertext reference, we'll put in what's visible for our link. Go to MCC. We can also put an image in, but it's important that before you start, if you want an image, it needs to be in the same folder as your index page. So I've created my folder with the name initial, I've created an index page, and I've added an image. You can, the best way to add your images is just to open up the file manager for your operating system 
and copy them in there. You should edit them in Photoshop first to make sure they're facing the right way and they're an appropriate size. So I'm going to put this in and I'm not currently taking any control over the size so I'm going to do an image source equals and it gives me a choice of my files and if I don't do anything else this is one of those self-closing tags I don't have to close the image tag if I don't do anything else it's really really big I did not edit this for the web so you can define the size here by typing in width equals 400 and that will automatically reflow the height to whatever is an appropriate size. Now because I didn't put this in a paragraph or put this one in a paragraph they just run into each other so I'm going to put in a paragraph around my hyperlink so that these don't end up in the same line. Paragraphs always start and end with a new line so that forces them to be separate on the page. So that will create your simple web page. You'll do something similar. It doesn't need to be like this, but you're going to add a few headings, a paragraph or two, a hyperlink, and an image of your choice. But that's a complete web page. I'm going to save it, and in the next video I'll show you how to upload it to the web server.